Good morning. Um, this is Nell Golinski. I'm an MSI here, and I'm going to uh, record this for my students. This is a basic uh, training on how to get started with your PBS. I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to go to the first uh, email that I send out to everyone uh, when we first get started. So let's go to that email and um, get started here. Um, I'm using Angel's uh, website, and in this email that I send out, PBS, welcome to your system. Um, your credentials are uh, here under your performance blogging system. The first link is for your domain. The second link is for your, um, your dashboard. Now, the easiest way to log into your dash dashboard is to double click on the password that highlights it, then to right click and copy your password, then to click on the dashboard link. That takes you to your um, page to sign in. Uh, your username is always your first name. And then um, you can left click and put your, um, your password in, then click on remember me, and then click login. Okay, that takes you to your dashboard. When you get to your dashboard, you're gonna see this. Sorry, but you do not have the correct permissions to install the TSW custom profile plugin. That's always there. Don't worry about it. You can't get rid of it. It's always gonna be there. So just leave it. Um, over here on the left is your uh, menu of options. And you can um, get to your uh, pages by either clicking here at a glance, you'll see that you have two posts and this website has 73 pages. Now you can also go over here to post and then click on all posts or you can go to pages and click on all pages. The first thing that you wanna do though is to think of a name for your website. Um, they're all latest and incredible online finds or something similar to that when they first come out. So um, I'm going to click on latest and incredible online finds and go here to where it says customize and click there to make some changes to Angel's website. Now, to change the name of her website, you want to go, or to your website, you want to go here to where it says site identity, and then where it says site title, that's where you're going to make your change. So I'm going to change the name of um, Angel's website to uh, Angel's Online Finds. You want to make sure that you don't make your uh, website title too long, or you're going to have um, issues when you're uh, making, uh, when you're doing your pages, because sometimes it'll, the um, URL is going to, for that page is going to be too long. So uh, kind of condense your, the name of your website. Now, if you want to change your bookmark, um, or your tagline, bookmark this site, we find new things all the time, you can, or you can leave it as is. Now, you notice when I change the site title, um, this blue box up here, it was gray, it's changed to uh, blue and it says published. So you click that to save your changes. If you don't um, save, the site title name won't change. Um, also down here, this picture, you can um, either change this image or you can leave it. Now wine um, is one of our um, anchor offers. So most people just leave this as is. Okay, then click this little back arrow to get out. The next uh, heading is social media. You can put in your Facebook link, your Twitter link, or your LinkedIn link. Uh, don't put in your email. Um, Google Plus is, doesn't exist anymore, so you don't put anything there. Email, don't put anything in there because it will be listed as a website and it won't work. So you'll just put in your Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And then click that little arrow well, you want to save and then click that arrow to get out. Colors, the link colors will only change the colors in your menu. And also don't change your menu. Roy's been doing this for, um, he's been marketing for 30 years and he's found that these are the headings that work. So don't change your headings. You can add pages to the headings, but don't change the headings um, as they are, leave them. Um, but the colors, if you change your link colors, it's just going to change the, 
the links in the headings and also the title of your website. Now, um, we partner with Google, so you don't want to get well, wild and crazy with these with the colors. Um, Roy says that black, gray, and purple are the best colors to use, so that's what you want to go with. The background color, that's only going to change the gray shaded areas. And again, you want to be very conservative. Um, we want you to get Google AdSense on your website as soon as possible. So um, if, when, once you get Google AdSense, um, they pay you to advertise on your website. And that can be another stream of income for you. And it can be very lucrative for you. So um, just be conservative. Uh, with your website until you get the Google AdSense on your website. Again, you'll click Published if you make any changes and to save and then click the arrow to go back or the triangle. Your header image, this is a fun one, I think. Your header image is this picture right here. Now, you don't want to use up any more space than what is allowed right here because if you do, it's going to take up your real estate down here and you don't want to do that. Now, you can use any of the pictures that are listed here. You can use pictures from your own uh, computer. You can use pictures from Roy's uh, Dropbox, which I will send you the link for, or you can uh, go out to the internet and get pictures. The thing is you want to um, make sure that if you get pictures from the internet, that they are not copyrighted. If you use anything that's copyrighted, you will get your website shut down. You'll also get um, anyone that's on your server um, yeah, that's on the server with you will also be shut down. So be very cognizant of that. Now, um, if you click down here on randomize the uploaded headers, these headers will rotate on your website. So you may want to do that just to uh, have different pictures on your website all the time. You can, um, don't forget to uh, click the publish button to save and then go out to the next heading. Um, the rest of these will be handled in your back office, so that's all. You'll click the X to go back to full screen. Now, to walk you through your um, dashboard, you have all of these um, different um, headings on your website. Now, all of these headings uh, take you to a category page. A category page is a list of different offer pages or different offers that are on your website. Under arts and entertainment, we have a new way to TV, get paid to chat, get paid to game, uh, karaoke, tipping circle and wine magic. These are all different offers that we get paid on. Um, now you can have more offers on a category page than you have on your drop down list. Your menu is listed to um, 90 items. It's best if you don't go over 85, but you can put up to 90 items on your menu. However, you can have more offers on your category pages than you do have on your menu. You also um, have um, an all things uh, page on your menu. The all things page is an exact mirror image of your category page. We do this so that when people go to uh, or pull your, um, your website up from a mobile device, they will be able to click on the all things page and see what is under that category. Before we added the all things page, they could not do that. So just remember that anytime you make a change to a category page, you have to make a change to the all things page. If you add something to a category page, you add it to the all things page. If you remove something from a category page, you remove it from the all things page. They have to be a mirror image at all times. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, now cooking food and wine. Um, our number one anchor offer is fine wines delivered to your door. Now this, uh, we do not sell wine but we do sell a wine of the month club. So you will want to watch this video if you haven't already done so. And you will want to um, uh, modify this page, whether you sell wine or not, or if, whether you sell the wine membership or not, you will want to modify this page. And um, once you do modify the page, uh, I want you to let me know and I will 
uh, change the link. If you sign up for the wine club, I'll change it to your link. If you don't sign up for the wine club, I'll change it to my link. Um, if you don't, if you're not ready to sign up for the wine club to be a wine ambassador, um, the next best thing is to sign up as a um, customer for the wine club until you're ready to sign up as a wine ambassador. That way you can see how uh, great the wines are and um, um, you can get a, a feel for, for the wine club. Plus, if you sign up three of your friends, you get free wine and free wine does taste better than wine that you paid for. You still have to pay shipping and um, uh, tax on it, but um, the 99.95 would be free. Okay, now, um, I'm going to walk you through modifying your pages. I'm going to go to your home page first. This is where you're going to start. Now on the the you have two home pages and you can either start here and go down to um, well, I have to go back to the dashboard. And you can go to two posts or like I said before, all posts to get to your, um, your posts. So we'll click here and go to new stuff. Welcome to our site. That's the first one that you wanna modify. So you click on edit. And get rid of that. Okay, now all of your pages have, have a, um, a keyword. And when you're doing your first pages, don't worry about like the keyword, leave the keyword as it is and don't change it. So in this one, uh, new stuff is your keyword. You always wanna use your um, use the keyword in the first part of your, or in your first paragraph and as close to the beginning of the paragraph as possible. So um, when you're ready to start modifying, you're going to hover between the two paragraphs until you find the block or the square with the plus in it. You're gonna click on that block and then you're gonna click on the paragraph icon. And this is where you're going to start typing. So we're going to read the first paragraph. It says, thank you for stopping by. You have found the home for new stuff entering the internet. We are constantly adding and updating our site with information, opinions, and details about new things coming out online all the time. Our goal is to leave the online community with the best source of new stuff available online. Keep reading because right here in this very post is a gift that could literally change your entire financial life. Okay, so we're going to say welcome to our new site. Thank you for stopping in. I am excited to be introducing new stuff I am finding online. Starting this new adventure in online marketing is a little daunting, but also very exciting. And I am looking forward to bringing lots of new stuff as I find it. Um, let me see. My goal will be to bring you the best of the best in online times. Often as you like see what is new and amazing. Okay. Now, <clears throat> once 
once you make your changes, you want to remove the, the old paragraph so that your new paragraph is now your first paragraph. Now, if you want to pretty this up a little bit, you can um, you can add some color. Oh, let's see. Welcome to our website. They changed. They recently changed this, and um, I don't know if they if they will allow me to do the just the first. Nope, they changed the whole paragraph now. They used to allow us just to change one sentence, but um, I guess that's not a feature anymore. This was a drop down that would allow us to. Oh gosh, highlight it maybe. I don't like that. You can't hardly see it. Like maybe if I did it. Okay, if you do something and you don't like it, you can go up here and do the back arrow and take it away. Okay, but you're going to go through and do every paragraph just like I did that paragraph. I'm sorry, they're mowing grass outside. I hope you can still hear me. Um, but go through and do every paragraph just like I did that first paragraph. And um, then uh, you'll continue all the way down. Now, you're also going to click on where the links are um, in here. This one is... Um, this one's okay. That one's uh, for this page, free Bitcoin. That one's good. If you come across a link that is not yours, you'll click on the pencil and you can type in, this is for Bitcoin. So you'll type in free Bitcoin and just wait till the little circle processes and you'll get a drop down and see it says uh, smart miners for Bitcoin. So you'll click on that and the your um, your link shows up so and then just click in the white area and that gets rid of it um, this is same thing if this is uh, the link for this page so that's good go here this is that's good um, okay now you'll want to save your work so you'll go over here and click update and that will save the work that's on this page now one of the tools that i use for um, updating my pages is called uh, a plagiarism checker. And I have that, uh, I will send that to you. And the way you do, the way you use the plagiarism checker is you go to, um, get out of there. you go to your, your public page and you copy, you copy, um, the page. I usually do like two or three paragraphs at a time and work with that. You type or you copy it, you paste it in here. You have to have less than a thousand words. You click on I'm not a robot and you check I check plagiarism and you wait for it to process. Now it's going to tell you how much of this page is unique and how much is plagiarized. You want to try to get as much uh, unique contact as uh, possible. And this will show you exactly which lines are plagiarized and which ones are unique. Um, I have used this since I um, started doing this and it really helps you to get your pages done more quickly. Now, since I just uh, modified the first page on this, um, it's going to be um, almost all uh, plagiarized. I know that um, in the beginning, I'm just doing this to show you um, as an example. So my first page or my first paragraph should be all unique since I changed that first paragraph. Come on, eight more percent. There we go. And it's finalizing the results. You do need to wait until it finalizes before you click off. Otherwise, you're not going to get a, um, a good, um, good result. Come on. So it's showing that um, 
I'm 12% unique. That's the number that you want to um, want to watch for. And there we go. Oh, see, that's why you want to want to um, um, watch um, because it switched. Okay, so my first paragraph is not all. Thank you for stopping by. You have found the home for new stuff. Well, boy, that's not what I did. Well, this is my page. <laughs> okay, I didn't copy the page that I did. I copied. Um, I copied the wrong page. I'll close that out. This is the page that I copied that I did. I copied the wrong page. Huh, idiot. Okay, we'll do it again with the work that I did. We'll copy down to here. So it won't take as long. Okay, pleasure is checker. Not a robot, check plagiarism. Sorry about that. And then we wait again. This is the first time I've made a video. So I'm. this is kind of a practice session for me too. I'm sorry that you're all guinea pigs. <laughs> Okay, that's much better. Um, still have to wait for it to finalize because it could it could change the the stat there. Okay, yeah. See, forty percent unique. Um, the first paragraph that I retyped is all my wording, so it's all unique, and then the rest of this um, has to be changed. But that's how the plagiarism. Um, checker works. I love using that tool because it just makes your, makes it so much easier for you to um, uh, go through this. Now, the next page, um, after you do the two um, uh, home pages, the um, new stuff and welcome to our site, and then welcome to our online community, you'll want to go to your dashboard and then go to fine wines, um, your fine wines page. Now you can either go to it through your menu or you can go over here and type in uh, fine wine and click search pages. And this will bring up your fine wines page. Fine wines delivered to your door, click on edit and that's gonna open your page. Okay, when you see something like this, click on it and click preview. Those are usually always um, videos you never have to do anything to the videos. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing here. You're gonna find, you're gonna hover and find that little um, square with the um, plus. You're gonna click on that, find your paragraph, and you're gonna stop, start typing. You're gonna change fine wines or just a few clicks away. Now you don't even have to leave your home. They come right to your door and you get benefit of amazing experiences in each glass, each and every glass. So you'll just do the same thing. Reward that first paragraph, make your, your new paragraph, your first paragraph and take care, take this one out. Now, um, when, you're, when you're adding uh, pictures, you'll, um, or when you're, uh, when you're changing your links, you'll also have to change your um, links on your pictures. And to do that, you'll click here where it says edit link, that's your link. So you'll be ch uh, changing the link there. You'll just click on the pe picture. And if you put your cursor in and you do control A, that will um, highlight your link and you can take the link out and put your new link in. Anytime you wanna get out of anything, just click someplace in a white area. Um, let's see here. Another thing that I wanna show you is, um, uh, let's go to the dashboard. Well, that's not what I want. I'm going to go back to site. Um, 
under um, Smart Miner, that's where it's at, Smart Miner. Um, you'll notice that um, a lot of times you'll see um, large strings of numbers like this. WordPress has a glitch and anytime they there's a page with a percentage sign, you, you're gonna get this long string of numbers. All you have to do is highlight that and do shift five and that will put the, put the percentage sign in. Just highlight and then do shift five and then you get a percentage sign. Um, This one seems to be in the wrong spot. It should be after the, after the one, it should be 100%, not percent 100. So we're gonna take that out and put the 100% after. So just uh, keep that in mind. Okay. Um, let me see what else. Um, I think that's about that's about it um, as far as updating your pages. Um, you can um, let's see. I, I can't think of anything else right now. Just updating your pages, uh, getting onto your website, and modifying your home pages and your. Uh, your wine page, also um, your uh, wine magic page. That's that's another first page that you need to do. Um, same thing, you just edit the page, click edit page, go to, um, this is going to be a video that you uh, want to click on. Um, you're going to hover between the, pa the paragraphs, click on add block, click on paragraph, and then start typing. Um, if you want to add pictures, like if you wanted to add a picture to this page, you have, um, you would find your image here. You'd go to media library. You have a lot of pictures in your media library. If you wanted to add a picture of, um, uh, let's see, what do you have here for um, wine magic? Mm, let's see. Here's one in a hot tub. You could add this picture because she's talking about um, relaxing. Um, you always want to put your picture on uh, on the right, and you can um, move it up or down. I would move this down below the video. Yeah, this is the relaxing in a jacuzzi. This would be a good spot for this. Um, you can resize this by using these tools. You can resize it by going over here, 25, that's too small, 50, 75. You don't wanna get this picture too big because it, uh, Google says it will interfere with their uh, ads and you wanna, you wanna keep Google happy. So, um, you know, you don't wanna make that too big. Now you wanna make sure you have your, um, your focus key phrase in the picture. Um, wine magic is your key phrase on this. So your pictures always have to have an alt text. So we're gonna do wine magic. And um, we're also going to put your, um, your link on this picture. Uh, see here, permalink. Your permalink is right here. So we're gonna copy your permalink. We're gonna go back to the picture, uh, back to block, and we're gonna add your permalink. That will help you. Oh, we don't want opens in a new tab. We don't want that. Just your link. That way that will help you to get indexed on the internet. Um, I didn't know that until just recently. So I had to go in my uh, website and add all of that. To my website. You're also going to want to add a, um, uh, a link to that right now. Uh, my link is on, on, this, um, on this website. So I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to place that in this picture. Click the pencil, 
and then put your cursor there, paste, add it, make sure it's open in a new tab so that they will go to my website and then click on a white space. Um, also, you wanna make sure that your readability and your SEO are good on every um, page that you do. You'll find um, some people work on the SEO from the side. I find it easier to work from, the, from down here because you can open up um, the SEO analysis and see what you need to do. Um, on this one, it says that no, inter as long as it's green, you're good. You don't have to worry about it. But on this one, it says no internal links appear on this page, add some. Uh, key phrase in the subheading, use more key phrases or synonyms in your um, H2 and H3 headings. And link key phrase, you're linking to another page with the words you want this page to rank for. An image key phrase, images on this page do not have the alt attributes that reflect the topic of your text. Um, let's see, we only have that one image and we put wine magic in that. Alt text, I wonder if we take that out, if that will eliminate that. Oh, I know what it is. It has to be exact. It wasn't the fact that I had the link in there. It's, it wasn't exact. Um, let's look and see if it's gone. No. Huh. I'm gonna have to um, figure that out. Um, that should have, that should have, um, when I changed that, that should have eliminated that. Anyway, I'll figure that out. Um, but they they have to have your your um, image has to have your key phrase in there, and it's wine magic, and it has to be exact. So I'm not really sure why that is not. Um, why that's not working. Um, your, your key phrase and your slug sh should, um, usually they're the same. Um, wine magic, uh, your meta description. Um, usually I try to make my meta description the same as my first, um, the first line in my, um, my, par my article. Um, that way you kind of just, um, you start off, you know, with a good, uh, good first paragraph. And then um, just make sure that, um, you know, have, you get a green uh, SEO. Once you get a green SEO, I would just stop. And then uh, under readability, same thing. You want to have um, all, you want to have it green. Now, in this case, um, transition words are at 20%. You should have 30%. Uh, transition words, you're going to find that your passive voice and your transition words, those are going to be the two um, headings that you're going to have the most trouble with. And you can always uh, click on the where the words are highlighted. You can always um, click on those and it'll take you to Yoast and they can, that can explain to you what the problem is. So, um, and also this eyeball over here, this will show you where um, you have your transition words. Now, the transition words will show you where um, you don't need to make uh, changes. When you're doing passive, um, the passive voice shows you where um, you need to make changes. Uh, in this case, it's good, so you don't have to. But passive voice is um, like, um, like it says passive, it's in the past. So anywhere that, um, like here, it says, go here and get started. So if you wanted to change that, you would say, um, start here or fine wines delivered to your door, or you could change that to say, we deliver fine wines to your door. Does that make sense? I hope. 
Okay, I, I think that is, um, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to in this. Um, I'm puzzled by that picture. I'm gonna try to figure that out. Um, but I think I've got enough covered to get you started and that um, you'll be able to, oh, one, I keep doing this, one more thing. You'll wanna change your date. Um, when you apply for Google AdSense, they're going to look at the dates when you change, when you finish your page, make sure that you change your date. Um, this is June. Uh, today's June the fourth, fifth, June the fifth. So you'll want to change this. I, I like to change it to the day before. I don't change the time, so I just change it to the day before. That way, I don't have to worry about the time. Just change the date and then click update, and then you're good to go. And that I believe is the last thing that I'm going to do. Uh, on this and I hope you uh, understand everything. I hope I did a good job uh, explaining everything to you and um, I hope this is recorded. Thank you, bye.